You have what I think is a mortally wounded opponent in front of you. But to give you my answer to the question, I will throw the phone lines open to you for in just a moment. I would want him to hang around. If I was Keir Starmer, the longer he hangs around, the better. My calculation is nobody's going to forgive the party story. Whatever Sue Gray says next week, it, it is it is there in black and white, in glorious Technicolor. We've seen the pictures. We've read the responses. There's probably more to come. If there's more to come, you want him to be in the top job when it comes. It's, it's dead story. It's dead news if it comes after he's already gone. The longer he stays, the more conservatives become stained or, or, or infected with the stench of Johnson's moral corruption. And that has to be good news for the Labour Party. That's my calculation. If, if I mean, listen, if you're a staunch Boris Johnson supporter, you can still imagine what it would be like to be Keir Starmer, and you can tell me what you think Keir Starmer would want. Presumably, you would want Boris Johnson to go, because you think Keir Starmer should be scared of his electoral heft, of his power, of his... Um, electability. So there it is, just p- pulling together, and just briefly, the reasoning behind this question, which I appreciate is a bit left field. Left field, see what I did there. The the thinking behind this question is, can we have a conversation that knits together everything that's going on, rather than pick an element, pick a strand, and go all in on one element of this unfolding, multifaceted political moment. And that's the best I could come up with on your behalf this morning. If you were Keir Starmer, would you want Johnson to go now or to hang on? Because we don't know if he hangs on, whether he goes later or goes not at all. He's quite sort of... The problem is you can't believe a word he says, whether he's talking about uh, famous moments in the life of a man he wrote the biography of that he claims to have no knowledge of or when he says I'm determined to fight the next election as prime minister he might have already decided to leave he's just trying to do it in the least humiliating fashion possible the problem with being led by an abject serial liar is that you never know whether what is coming out of his mouth today is another load of lies or an accidental truth but you do know what you would want to happen if you were Keir Starmer 